welcome from the home of the New York Mets, City Field in Queens. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the New York Mets. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. It's been quite a series so far, and the excitement's only ramping up as we get ready for Game 5. Yeah, Boog, the only negative here today is that the series is going to come to an end. As fun as it's been, I wish it could go on a few more games. And the way these teams have battled each other and with some of the amazing moments we've seen in getting to this point, I think we're in for a great one here in Game 5. Hard to imagine it won't be a classic, Siggy. I'm ready to see what surprises are waiting for us. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. And stepping in for New York, Jeff McNeil. He's 0 for 1. The second baseman. The pitch. And this one bounces away from Casale. Snaps it to first and barely back in on a dive. Bullpen action for the Giants for the first time. Jacob Junis appears to be getting loose. Bednar getting cranked up as well. And the 1-0. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is down low. Next one misses three and one. Calling this count runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Left hand hitter waits. That one the other way, and it goes just foul. Runner at first with no outs here. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And a payoff pitch. And that's ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. James McCann up now for the Mets. Grounded out his first time. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. That one's in there. It's 0-1. There's an opportunity to do some damage, but you've got to be selective. Make sure you get a pitch that you can handle. So the tying run at second. Soft contact in the air. And it falls. Over to Crawford. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Wow, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. Seems like he just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. Back to the top of the lineup, Brandon Nimmo digs in now. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Left hand batter waits. And now the count is even. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Smith on third. McCann over at first with one away. In the air, right field. He 
He's in to score on the sack fly. It's 1-1. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Starling Marte up to him. And the right hater back to work. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And he deals. Now one and one. And yeah, that's outside. The pitch. Rocketed out towards right center. And base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. The right hander back to work. There's the strike. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter, don't worry about anything else. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. In the dirt. Runners hold tight. It's a ball and two strikes. First and second, two down. Foul off left side. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, oh, there's no hiding in this spot. Base is loaded now, and no more wiggle room for any more mistakes like that. And here it comes. Alonso up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. A swing and a soft liner. Base hit. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. And they take a two-run lead. Back-to-back -back singles. Just a blue hit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. And next for the Mets, Mark Canna. And a pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. The run scores from third, and they're up by three. A couple of hits in a row for him here. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely. Here's the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. And a pitch. And that one a little bit high. Alonso at second. Canna at first. Two out of the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-hander deals. And a foul ball. Two outs. And it's even up. Righty to the plate. And now the count filled up three and two.
Righty delivers. And he walked him. Now it's Dominic Smith. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Base is loaded, two down. Strike two. Kicks and fires. Out towards right center field. Yastrzemski under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Five innings complete. It's the Mets four, and the Giants one. New inning getting started. Now the third baseman, Wilmer Flores. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. That's in there. That's strike one. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Out to short. In plenty of time to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. A wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Brandon Bell, the next giant to hit, singing game five and elimination spot, and the spotlight is focused on this guy. Everybody looks to the star players in big games like this, and this is what you get paid for. Time to come through. Base knock right for you. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. And at first, here's Jack Peterson. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. Well, who would have thought Jacob DeGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth-round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher. Back-to-back -back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. Next offering is fouled back. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Back here in Queens, where we go bottom six, and stepping in for New York, Jeff McNeil. The second baseman. The pitch. Action in the pen down there. Zach Littell up and loosening in the pen. McGee warming up as well. Now the 0-1. That just misses. One and one. Bounce to third. Zips it across. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. James McCann up now for the Mets. The pitch. McCann fouls one off. Next offering is in for a strike. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. So up next for New York, Brandon Nimmo. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite-level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. In the air, left side. Wait, makes the catch, and that'll do it. 
Down in order go the Mets as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Top of inning number seven and digging in for San Francisco. Brandon Crawford, the Giants in striking distance but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The wind of the pitch. Hard hit right side and it finds its way through for a hit. Second baseman. Here's the Tommy second baseman, Tommy Listella, and a pitch. Good eye in that spot. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Crawford, aboard here at first with nobody out. Swings and misses. One and two. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. At the belt and fires. Pitch misses there, and the count is two and two. This one in the air right field. Racing makes the catch. And there's one down. Play goes to first now, but he's back in. Lamont Wade Jr., the next giant to hit. DeGrom back to work. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Going two now. Good eye right there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Foul ball there. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. And the pitch. And it's fouled away. Right-hander kicks, deals. And now it's filled up. Next offering is fouled back. Left-hand hitter waits. Right through there, got him. Too long. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Yastrzemski in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. The 2 Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. So the Giants leave one. And they trail it 4-1. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Zach Littell. It's his job to keep his team in the game. And welcome back. And now here is Starling Marte. The pitch. The and a strike in there. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next offering misses. Now two balls and a strike. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. That one close. Rule the ball. And the count is three and one. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And he deals. Lindor stands in now, looks at that one inside. Kicks and deals. 
He's been raking in recent games and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently and you see the results. And the righty deals. Now three and oh. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And ball four to a board. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And here is Pete Alonso. One for three. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Back there. It's gone over the left field wall. Pete Alonso takes it deep, and they boost their lead. It's 7-1. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. So here comes Jake McGee into the game, and we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Mark Canna up now for the Mets for the fourth time tonight. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering upstairs. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. This to third. What a stop. On the money. Nice play. A quick move to his left. Fully now extended down. there in front of the shortstop to make the grab. Up with it. Then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. Eduardo Escobar will hit next. And the pitch. That misses. Ball one. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is foul back. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. Right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. The batter, number two. Designated hitter. Dominic. And now the Mets DH, Dominic Smith. Smith. The pitch. There's the strike. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. Short hop liner handled it short. The throw to first. And that is that. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 7-1. Welcome back. We're at the top of the eight. Now it's the Giants catcher, Kirk Casale. 
the catcher, number two. The right hander back to work. There's a strike. Not what he's looking for there in the OO Cal. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. That one fouled off. Out there to center. Nimmo gets under it. Puts it away for the out. Now that Wilmer Flores, the next Wilmer. giant to hit. Chris, Ooh. baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And that chance handled. On to first. Two up, two down. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And now it's going to be Steven Duggar. One for two. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Giants down in order. They're down seven to one. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Harleen Garcia. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Back here at the ballpark, Jeff McNeil stands in. The second baseman. The pitch. Off the mark there. Ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, and it's two and one. To the right side. Tosses to first, and that's one away. As the leadoff man is out in the eighth. James McCann up now for the Mets. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Signs of movement in the Giants bullpen. Camilo Doval up and throwing. That one misses. And it's 2-0. pitch and that one fouled off that to right Yastrzemski puts it away that's out number two the center fielder number nine Brandon Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. And the pitch. They say it went. And strike two. And down on strikes. Three up, three down, inning over. And the Mets go down one, two, three. And they're on top, seven to one. Back here at City Field. And here's the first baseman, Brandon Bell. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon Bell. Here comes the pitch. And first offering is fouled off.
Next pitch is inside. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. Sliced hard, but foul. One and two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here's a one two. Stays alive. Next pitch just misses. And the count is even two and two. Right hander kicks deals. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle end. Kind of has putter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Peterson takes a ball here as he stands in now. In the air, center field. Nimmo glides back and makes the grab. Two away now. Here's Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. And misses inside. And that one is lifted in the air. Marte under it. The New York Mets take their next step. They're headed to the National League Championship Series. You win a National League Division Series, you can breathe a little bit as the next one will stretch out to possibly seven games. I'm sure they don't want to take it that far, but they're just going to be happy to get there. Congratulations, guys. So the New York Mets come through in game five. They're moving on to the league championship series. And now these guys know that they can deliver when the stakes are at their highest. I mean, it's so important to have that kind of belief and confidence when you're heading into the later stages of the postseason. And I'm sure a lot of frustration and disappointment in the other dugout. Absolutely. And, you know, this was a tough finish to a really strong season for these guys. And I'm sure this deciding game five is going to stick with them for a while. Thank mm -hmm. you.